Hi, I'm George. I'm just an ordinary 15-year-old. I like soccer and hanging out with my friends. I don't like homework though, I still try to do it. But when I was 12, my life was changed. Let me tell you about it. Before I came to church, I was playful, I talked loudly in class, ran around and banged into people purposely. I used vulgarities and got into fights. I thought it would impress my friends. One time, I was playing soccer when my junior took the ball from me. Then he accidentally tore my shirt. I was so angry I pushed him to the ground, kicked him and walked off. These kind of things happened a lot. My dad saw the principal so often that he became well-known in my school. I didn't even feel bad for being mean. I thought I was cool. At the same time, I was very bored. On the weekends, I slept in until 2 p.m. Then I would go on YouTube and keep clicking on recommended videos. If not, I played my phone the whole day. The only interesting thing I had was my CCA, swimming. I had training twice a week. I was so free, I also signed up for Taekwondo classes. It felt good to win medals at competitions. When I look at all my Taekwondo belts, I felt so happy. But after a while, I would get bored again. Every day felt like a repeat. I kept feeling empty and restless on the inside. Then, when I was 12, Jared brought me to Heart of God Church. I had no idea what God or Christianity was about but I had nothing much to do, so I thought, why not? When I came, many people like Ilu, Irving and Marcus came to say hi. Usually, my friends in school would talk about games, sports or themselves, but people in church wanted to know me better. During my first service, I loved the worship. When everyone sang and lifted their hands, I felt like joining in. Then, a thought came into my mind. It told me, Maybe you shouldn't go around bullying people. It's not right. I was like, wow, these words wouldn't be from me. God was speaking to me. Those words made me realise, though everything looked fine on the outside, I was quite ugly on the inside. Then I remembered the preacher had shared about how Jesus loves me. He forgave me and died for my sins. I felt so touched and loved. It made me more motivated to change. I really wanted to know Jesus. So that day, I took a step of faith and I said yes to a relationship with God. That one time in service left me wanting more of God and church. So I came back every week. That's when my weekends became so exciting. More than the fun, my friends in church are also a good influence. As I hung out with them more, the urge to use vulgarities and fight faded away. I realised I didn't need to do all that just to look cool. Even my friends in school noticed and asked me why I don't fight anymore. I just told them, come to church and find out. As I grew in my walk with God, my leaders taught me how to pray and read the Bible. So after school, I went home and talked to God. As I prayed, the restlessness I always felt went away. There was a stillness and joy in my heart. No YouTube video or handphone game can replace this. Only God could give me the peace I needed. Also, there was a sermon Pastor Howe preached that impacted me. It was about living for others. He shared that God is a father and he sees everyone as valuable. I realised if God cares for everyone, I should too. So from bullying people, I grew to look out for my friends. Once, I saw a classmate sitting alone during recess. I didn't want him to feel alone, so I went to eat with him. I believe that even the smallest actions can bring God's love to others. Once, God spoke to me through Ephesians 2 verse 10. I felt him telling me that he has a plan for my life. Pastor Charleston and Pastor Lynette also told me that they believed in me. They said I'll do great things for God. I felt very encouraged. Now, life is no longer just school, CCA, Taekwondo, sleep, repeat. But at 14 years old, I rose up as a media coordinator in church. We lead teams of people doing lights, visual effects, slides during services. We ensure everything goes on screen at the right time. I love helping to create a great service experience. Hundreds of people come and encounter God, and their lives are changed. It's so meaningful to be part of it. 
Recently, Pastor Leah prayed for me to be a strong leader in church. Faith arose in my heart. Now I'm a leader in my connect group, guiding new Christians in their walk with God. Every day, I feel excited to bring God's love and joy to others. Three years ago, I was a naughty, bored youth who bullied others. But God found me and turned my life around. I have peace in my heart, I've grown in my character, and I have a purpose in life. So to all of you watching this, let me encourage you. Today, start your relationship with Jesus. God loves you and He can change your life too.